Hi, today I want to talk about one of the most important elements of car design and car sketches, and it is proportions. If you watch car design videos or reading interviews, you probably heard a lot about proportions. Also when you send me sketches to get feedback, I use that term a lot. Because it's no secret, proportions are really really important. It can make the car look stronger, more premium or sportier. And I know that when you get a feedback and I say check out the proportions or pay more attention to proportions, it's not so helpful. So I decided to make a video for giving you a strategy to find out the secrets of proportions. In this video we will analyze three hatchback cars and after that we will use these analyses to sketch a side view. You can use that strategy for other segments and other types as well. So let's start. These are the three cars we will use for this video. First one is Audi RS3 Sportback, second one is BMW 1 Series M Performance Package and the third one is Mercedes-Benz A35 AMG. The first thing to start is the wheels and the wheelbase. Wheelbase is the dimension between the front and rear wheels we can say. And on this car we can fit three wheels between front and the rear one. And about the height of the car on the rear we can put one more wheel and we have a little bit more distance so it's around 1.25 wheels. This is a bit more precise and clean way to show that and also it is the same for other two cars. And also front and rear overhangs we have like half of the wheel or a bit more a bit less depends on the car. And the next thing we can talk about is the proportion of side window, the greenhouse and the side body panel. So as you see if the side window let's say if it's 1x the body side is more or less 2x. Again here we see a more clean version and it's definitely the same for other two cars. The next thing we will talk about is the relationship of the pillars. This is the A pillar and if you extend it, it cross the front wheel. And the rear wheel center, if you extend it straight up, you will cross the end of this uh, greenhouse. This is the ground clearance and it's something between wheel center and the ground. And you, here you see something called prestige area. It's not so big but still we have a little bit of space. And again here you see the clean version and it is the same for all three cars. And the last thing we will talk about to analyze this is the position of the lights. If you draw a straight line on the front light, you will see that headlight is right above it. And on the rear, if you draw that straight line through backwards, you will see that there is space for one more light between rear light and the rear wheel. So these are the four main elements for side view proportions of the car. Now I'm going to turn on all these four analyzes, the reference lines, and merge them together to use as a reference for our own side view sketch. I start sketching with wheels and this is the front wheel in that case and then I duplicate it to the rear and I scale them up a little bit because it's kind of exaggeration on the wheels and I really like that feeling on the sketches because it gives more sporty and a stronger approach. Then I sketch the basic silhouette and some basic lines then I'm using a very big thick brush to see the proportions without details. You can also use big marker or a big pencil or a piece of chalk if you are using this on the paper. Then I start cleaning the sketch, starting from wheels again, making it perfectly round. Then adding the shadow on the ground because it's also very important. Many people forget about the shadow and they just draw a line, a straight line as a ground. But actually we need to see the shadow on the bottom of the car. Then I'm adding some details and designing a little bit of the silhouette and the headlights, rear lights, some air intakes, fog lights, this kind of details. And then the side panel of the car. adding the door lines and a little bit of interior 
and mirroring the image. Flipping the image can help you to see the mistakes or the weird areas of the car. Then I'm adding some thickness and darkness to the areas that I want to emphasize. Then I'm coloring the greenhouse to see the graphic balance. Here I started to add a little bit of shading, very basic and very light color to show the surfaces a little bit more. Then switching on and off the reference to see if there's any mistake. I also want to talk a little bit about some details very quickly. First of all, it's always better to show the other side of the car, the other two wheels of the car. And secondly, as I told you before, rather than a straight line, it's better to put some shadow on the ground. Another thing is putting some more line on the fish tank area to show that the windshield is going inside of the bonnet. The last thing I want to talk about is the corners of the side wheel. When you see the car on top view, you will see that corners are rounded. So on the side view, we will see a bit of front, top and the rear. So that's it for this video. This is how to analyze a side view of the car. In this example we used hatchback, but you can use the same strategy for different segments and different types of the cars. I hope it was helpful for someone. And if you like it, please subscribe me on YouTube and follow me on Instagram. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks.